Welcome to a new episode of Urban Girl Boss, where we highlight the accomplishments of women dominating their fields. Whether it's politics, entertainment, or the beauty industry, we're speaking to them and finding out the gems to their success. So, you can use it to build your own success story. Okay, on this episode of Urban Girl Boss, we're speaking with celebrity makeup artist, Kim Baker, pioneer in the plus size modeling industry, has done makeup for celebrities such as Tony Braxton, Dakota Fanning, Gayle King, and even Patti LaBelle. Kim Baker is also a beauty correspondent and contributor on News 12 New Jersey. So we're here at her offices today, downtown Newark. Women who are looking to become entrepreneurs, she's going to give advice and tips on how you can be successful at your own venture. So I want to know, the first question I have is, why did you name the line Glamazon Beauty? And what um, is the Glamazon Beauty? Well, listen, I, I can't <laughs> wait to get all into that because here's the thing. I'm a woman raised by women. I used to look at movies uh, years ago as a kid where you see these Amazonian right. strong women. And that's all I've ever known my whole life. I'm from New York. Right. My mother raised me. My grandmother raised her. Then my grandmother participated in raising me too. Right, so, right, right. you know, um, I come from strong women, which are like the Amazons, but yet glamorous women. We love makeup. We love hair. We love heels. My great aunt, my grandmother's sister. Right used to always call me a glamazon as a young girl. So I never really thought about it, but then one day it stuck. I trademarked the name, okay. and then I swear, like clockwork, it just kind of caught on with wow. other people. And I see, you know, RuPaul was calling him so well, a gla- but he oh. didn't trademark. <laughs> what are three staple products of your line, in your makeup line, that you suggest every woman purchase? I'm glad you never down the three, girl, because you're going to be here all day. Right. <laughs> so, um, first of all, my foundation, it is called Second Skin Foundation, okay. and it truly looks like skin. My concealer, my foundation, my highlighter, and my powder, and my okay. eyeliner, and, eyeliner. and okay. my mascara. And the mascara. You better, you better stop me. <laughs> right. So yeah, yeah. But seriously, all those products are they're and they're killing it in stores. So it's one thing to say it, mm-hmm. but the fact that everything is selling out is the proof. Right. So. And it's your um, products are at Ricky's. And Ricky's NYC. NYC, which actually was my favorite store coming up when I was a teen. What would be a piece of advice that you can give a woman who's looking to start her own? business or her own makeup line, lipstick line, nail polish line? Business, period. Be consistent, Mm -hmm. be persistent, and be passionate. And if you hear someone speak negative, use that as fuel mm. because you'll get to a moment where you show them. I have a couple of people when I had, you know, was tr- trying to find my way here. Mm. And, you know, they like I had one woman take me out to lunch and tell me, look at my portfolio. Oh, your work is not clean enough. But that's all I do is clean beauty. Right. If you look at my, my even the way my face looks, I and love even clean the, beauty. The, the makeup on those these women here, very clean in me. Yeah. Fear and doubt and- are the two biggest enemies to an entrepreneur Mm -hmm. you know because you can't you have to be positive in your thinking if you're not 100 percent convinced how can you convince someone else to give you capital how can you convince someone else to put you on their store shelves Mm -hmm. part of what made ricky's put me in store even though um, i didn't have a brand prior to being there um, was my passion. They mm-hmm. told me a passion is like contagious. <laughs> we are here with the makeup artist and Glamazon Beauty owner, cosmetics line owner, Kim, and her daughter, aka the model for today, Natasha. And Kim, we're about to do some makeup, right? Yes, I'm about to show you the difference between my uh, finish on my um, my liquid foundation and my stick foundation. So we're going to okay. do both sides of Natasha's face with two different foundation. First thing I'm going to do is use my primer. Okay. Okay. One of the things Natasha doesn't like is Natasha has hyperpigmentation around her lip. So I'm going to use my corrector. She has her primer. She has her corrector on. The next thing we are going to do is I'm gonna do this side, this stick. Tasha likes to be a little bit deeper than what she is. And this is the liquid. I'm going to do the liquid finish, which is a more lightweight but very flawless. 
this. This is like one of my number one selling concealers. And I'm just gonna kinda like chop that face up a little bit in the sense of making the bones pop. This is a finished look on Natasha using all Glamazon beauty products, all formulated and created by Kim Baker. So ladies, I'm Kim Baker. I just want to thank you for watching. As you can see, this um, I created this line with women in mind, especially women of color. Um, as you can see, the foundations don't go red. They are truly warm tones that looks like skin because we are not gray and we are not red. We are brown.